Folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for the Peel and Durham region for week ending April 20th, 2022. Prices are coming down. I'll get into that in a minute when I talk about the, the actual numbers. Let me tell you a story that a situation that happened to us that it unfortunately doesn't have a happy ending. Let me tell you what's going on. Two months ago, we had a listing in Brampton. This is a very large house and I get a phone call from somebody who saw the for sale sign and wanted to buy the house. So, so far sounds like it's good news. Well, we end up talking and I get into a little bit more in depth into pricing of the home and their financial position. And it was pretty clear that they probably could not afford this house. And, and I told them that and I said, you know, maybe you should be looking at something else. It doesn't look like you can, you know, really financially afford this house. They didn't like what I had to say, and, and that was the last I heard of them. And I get a phone call just this week from the husband in a panic. It turns out they did end up buying in that neighborhood, and they bought their dream home, big house, big money, and now they have their home for sale, but so many bad things have happened. Now, when I say they bought, they, they, they didn't physically buy it yet. They haven't accepted agreement of purchase and sale their offer got accepted and the home they're living in is now for sale because they need the sale of that to buy well the home they're living in is not selling at the price that they thought and the husband's saying that their realtor keeps putting pressure on them to drop the price by two hundred thousand they can't if they drop the price by two hundred thousand they cannot close on the purchase they made furthermore to complicate things even more the way they organized their financing in order to, to qualify to buy, they had their son and, and other family members involved. And that's complicated things because the qualification for, for one of the people just isn't there anymore. So they don't even qualify for the mortgage anymore. It, it's just overall a very bad situation. And lots of people, if they don't close, are going to get hurt in this process. It's, 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 there's no happy ending here, I don't see. So real quick, the moral of the story, if you're looking to make big decisions or big financial decisions, surround yourself with people that are going to give you the real numbers. Like work with somebody you have confidence in that they know what they're doing, that, that is not just going to be a yes person, just facilitating whatever it is that you want to do. And sometimes just because you could do it, maybe you shouldn't so you know as professional realtors as a professional consultant part of our job is to tell you the truth but there's others that might just tell you what you want to hear so be careful who you surround yourself with be careful who you take advice from surround yourself with people that are good at what they do and are prepared to tell you the truth even if they don't get that business that's important and then you can make your decision whether it makes sense or not to make that move but based on real numbers and real facts who you hire matters if you think this video can help somebody you know please pass it and pass it along let's get into the numbers If you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, just general questions, it's really simple. Below this video, in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. This way I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure my schedule's organized so we can talk to you about whatever's on your mind. Let's get into the numbers. I'm talking today about Peel and Durham. I'm talking about Mississauga. Uh, Brampton and Pickering, Ajax and Whippy for the Durham region. Let's start off with a quick summary. Overall, if we kind of go back here to January to week ending April 20th, prices have been falling. Let's look a little bit closer here. We've got Mississauga. We sold 51 detached properties. Sales are down. And again, this is just for detached properties. So sales are down. We sold only 51. 13 of those were at $2 million or more. 
Average sold price came up from the previous week. It's now sitting at one million seven hundred. Excuse me, one million seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand for the average detached property sold in Mississauga. But when you're looking at the peak here of you know high high one point nine or just over two million, and now we're one six to to high one sevens. Prices have come way down from where they were just two months ago and, and that's you know a relief for I know a lot of people out there but let's keep things in perspective prices have come down for where they were just a few weeks uh, a few months ago but still we're way ahead of where we were last year looking at average sold price year over year we're 17 percent higher than where we were this time last year and last year was a record record year median price is 19 percent higher than where we were last year. So yes, and just looking at the median price here, the Burgundy line, just from January, median price is down about 200,000 on average, say. But again, way ahead of last year. And I don't wanna sound like a broken record. Prices are down, but not from last year. They're still way up from where they were last year. Looking at sales of the 51 that sold, 49% sold at list price or more. So about half. We used to be selling in a high 80 to 95% at list price or more. The percentage selling a list price or more is way down to about half. The market it, it has shifted. I mean, it's been going on for a little while now. But sales overall, year to date, from January 1st to April 20th, we are 34% less sales this year than what we were selling last year. So we're a third behind, which is a big, big difference in, in sales activity. Listings is 21% lower year to date. And when we look at months of inventory, we're up now at to 1.3 months of inventory. We were at the beginning of the year. Here's February and January sitting at 0 0.4, and it's been gradually going up. It's now at 1.3. As months of inventory go up, you will see almost always sales come down. It's just the way it works. Let's look at Brampton. So sales are a little bit lower from the previous week. We sold 77 detached properties in Brampton. Six of those were at $2 million or more, which is a big drop from the previous week of 11. Average sold price is now at 1,428,000. Brampton's one of those areas that saw uh, I, I mean, gradually, if we go back to a year ago, average sold price is gradually going up. Then come December, something happened and boom, went up aggressively. And now they're coming down, not quite as fast, but they're coming down fairly quickly back in line to where they were kind of in January area here. But, you know, they're coming down. They're 200,000 or so lower than where they were in February. But compared to last year, we're still 19% higher than last year's average sold price. And median price is 25% higher than what it was a year ago. So way up from last year still. Median price now is sitting on 1,400,000. Of the 77 that sold, 64% sold at list price or more. If you remember back in February, we were at 97%, 94%, 99% selling at list price or more. Now at 64%, it seems a different market, right? Okay, so we are 37% less sales this year we're doing than what we did last year, year to date, January 1st to April 20th. So more than a third less sales activity is missing. There's just not as much activity as, as, as we had last year. Uh, listings are down 19% year over year. We listed 211 last week. Months of inventory, we were sitting back here at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We are now up to 1.5 months of inventory. It's a big difference, big, big change in the marketplace when we go from 0 0.3, 0 0.4 to 1.5, and that's why prices are starting to come down. Let's look at Pickering, Ajax, and Whippy. I'm using this as my Durham sampling. We sold 66 detached properties. One was at $2 million or more. 
Average sold price is now $1,264. It's coming down. If you recall, we've been going up and then December, boom, way up. And now just as fast, average sold prices are coming down. These are for detached properties only. However, compared to last year, same story. We're way ahead of last year. We're 18% higher than last year's average sold price. Median price is 19% higher than what it was a year ago. And you could see the burgundy line here, median price. It's coming down. It's now sitting at 1,220,000, way ahead of where it was a year ago. Sales are almost a third lower than last year, year to date. We're 31% doing less sales this year than what we did last year, January 1st to April 20th. 79% sold at list, price or work, uh, at list price or more. So it's still very much competitive, but it used to be at 90, the high 90s, 98, 97% selling at list price or more. Still 79%, very competitive still. When we look at uh, listings, listings are lower. We listed 144. Year-to-date listings were 16% listing, uh, less listings than what we listed last year. And months of inventory sitting now at 0.9. So it's still very much a seller's market, but a very different market from when we were at 0.2 months of inventory. Extremely aggressive. Now I would call it just aggressive seller's market. It's not an extreme seller's market, but still very much a seller's market. Let's look at Peel Condos. We sold only 53 Peel condos last week. Now, when you look back over the course of a year, Peel condos gradually, very gradually going a little bit higher as the year went along. But man, something happened come the end of December, January, where prices shot way up, but they're coming down just as fast. The average sold price, 681,000 for the average condo price in Peel but that's still 19% higher than what it was a year ago. Uh, median price is 21% higher than what it was a year ago. And you can see median price coming down. Uh, 53, up to 53 that sold, 79% sold at list price or more. So it's still competitive. It doesn't mean that you can take your time and some condos are gonna sell very fast and 79% are selling over list price. Listings, we listed the same that we listed last year at this time, down from the previous week. And months of inventory is climbing. We were at 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0.1 when it was really aggressive. We're now at 1.4 months of inventory. So still a seller's market, just not as aggressive as 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 months of inventory. Here's a a quick summary, months of inventory up across the board. If you could read anything into the numbers I just told you, look, there's good and bad news. It depends on, on how you're looking at it. If you're looking to buy right now, well, prices are more in your favor than what they were just in February. So you're, you're gonna be buying that house for a little bit less than what you bought before. If you're a seller, we're not talking about crashing here. You're still way ahead of where you were last year's pricing. If we can help with anything, please reach out. My uh, calendar is below in the description. Have a great day.